And <laughs> as you may be able to tell just based on looks alone, this is one of the most unique acoustic guitars I've ever seen. This video is sponsored by Enya Music and they sent me out their Enya Next G smart audio guitar for me to try out and share with you. Unlike a traditional acoustic guitar, this guitar is made out of carbon fiber and it has an integrated 50 watt Bluetooth speaker right here that amplifies the sound of the guitar and makes it sound convincingly like an acoustic hollow bodied guitar without all that extra bulk. The guitar also has a lot of other fun features as well like built in effects like reverb chorus delay and other things as well. But for now, let me just show you what it sounds like first without the guitar system turned on and then with the speaker turned on. And then if I just turn the knob here to engage the speaker, it sounds like this. Really cool. Even after trying out this guitar for a few days now, turning on the speaker is always surprising. It just changes the sound so much. It goes from kind of sounding just like an unplugged electric guitar to sounding like a really acoustic guitar. And it also gets very loud. I only have it at like half volume right now, but if you turn it up all the way, it is probably louder than you'll need. <laughs> Before we go into more of what this guitar can do, let me hand it over to Pass Rachel, who unboxed the guitar a few days ago, so I can share the unboxing and first try experience. This case is really nice. It's kind of like a soft coated hard shell case. It kind of feels like something like you'd see it on a premium tech product like headphones or something like that. So yeah, liking the case. I'm excited to see what this looks like. I think it's going to be pretty unique. <laughs> How is this in an acoustic guitar? <laughs> never seen a guitar that looks like this. <laughs> Look at how tiny this is. <laughs> Definitely feels like a tech product. Let's see what else is in here. We have the Next G manual. Oh yeah, there's also an included microphone, which I believe you can use to sing through the speaker and the guitar, which is interesting. There's also some stuff in here. There is a microphone cover, a charging cable, a strap for the guitar, a charging block, that's nice. A lot of things don't come with that. Let's see, maybe this is to put it on the bottom of the guitar so that it doesn't slide off your leg. And this package, which I believe is the deluxe package, also comes with a pair of headphones as well. And yeah, they look nice. They look like they're Enya branded. They're kind of a fun green color. So the guitar also comes with this piece here, which makes it look a bit more like a normal guitar. I think you just slot it in like this, and then you can lock it in place with some included screws, but yeah, this is a really cool looking instrument. So let's try it out and just see what it sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> Very unique. I've definitely never played a guitar like this before and I'm excited to try more with it. So now let's get back to future Rachel who will have tried out the guitar some more and will tell you more about it. So now let me walk you through more of what this guitar can do. On this panel here there are a bunch of controls for the guitar. You can turn the guitar on and off using this knob here. You can also change the volume of the speaker. There's also a built-in tuner on the guitar itself and you can see the note on the panel there. You can also enable Bluetooth mode, which allows you to connect your phone to the guitar and play back audio through the built-in Bluetooth speaker. And you're playing back music through the guitar. There's actually a vocal remover mode that you can enable on the guitar as well. And that will try to remove vocals from songs to create backing tracks that you can sing and play over. <laughs> Probably your mileage with this feature will vary depending on what songs you want to play and how you expect to use it. Regardless, it's a fun feature for them to be including in this and I feel like it really shows the attention to detail about how someone might be using this guitar and it's fun that they're thinking of that sort of thing. On the guitar itself, you can switch between five built-in presets by clicking on this knob here 
and those have different tones and effects. But you can also customize those further if you want to by using the Enya app on Android and iOS. Let's compare the different tones that are built into the guitar itself. I'll just play some simple chords so we can compare the differences. This first one is Acoustic Singer. <laughs> Singer finger, which I assume is probably meant for finger picking, but I'll just do the chords again. Finger rock. That one you can really hear the delay on it. It always impresses me when the delay is just coming out of the guitar itself. This is Rock Fusion. I feel like that one doesn't sound quite as good as the other ones, but I guess it depends on what you're doing. Fusion Acoustic. wall going on there. So with just those built-in tones, I think there's some fun ones there. Some are a little bit more practical than others. I think the default one sounds really nice and full, has some reverb on it, and it sounds really good. But if you want to customize them further, you can just use the app. You can change the mix, you can change the EQ, you can change the actual effects that are on the effect itself. So reverb, chorus, flanger, distortion, wah, etc. And yeah, there's a bunch of different things you can customize there. There's also some fun things you can do, like you can change the color of this light here. You can change it to like, let's see, this is what a red looks like. <laughs> there's a bunch of different colors you can switch between. It's kind of a fun, nice little touch that lets you customize your guitar a little bit further. And there's also a built-in drum machine that if you have the guitar connected through Bluetooth, you'll hear it through your guitar. <laughs> On the bottom of the guitar here, there are a bunch of different ports. So there is a USB-C port for charging the guitar, which is convenient. And the guitar actually comes with a USB-C charging brick and a cable, which is nice. There is a line out that allows you to record your guitar through an audio interface if you prefer doing that instead of playing out loud. Or of course you can plug the guitar into an external amp that way. There's also a mic in port to so connect an external microphone to the guitar if you want to amplify your voice through the guitar. There's a port to connect a mobile device to the guitar. So I believe you can record the guitar directly to a phone with that. And there's also some sort of effects in port as well. In addition, there's also a headphones port so you can connect headphones to the guitar to play with the guitar quietly, but still have the amplified sound and effects through headphones. Now with the headphones port on this particular guitar, I have run into a little bit of an issue. There's some crackling noise when I start playing on the guitar. It stops after I keep playing for a bit with headphones, but then it'll start again if I stop and start up again. So it makes the headphones playing experience not so great. But I did reach out to my contact at Enya and they told me that this is the first they've heard this report. It hasn't been a common issue at all with customers or other YouTubers. So they said that they would report the issue to their factory to make sure that they test everything and make sure it doesn't happen. But yeah, if I purchased this guitar, I'd probably exchange it for another one because it does kind of make the headphones experience not so great. But as far as I've been told, it's not a common issue and you could always exchange it if you needed to. So I don't think it's a huge deal, but just wanted to let you know for full transparency. <laughs> So this is the microphone that the deluxe version of the guitar comes with and I think it's intended for if you want to like sing while you're playing guitar which is not really for me but let's just try it out so you can just turn it on here and it should automatically connect with the guitar since I've paired it before and whoa <laughs>
<laughs> that was louder than I was thinking it would be. But yeah, you can talk through the guitar, which is interesting. <laughs> and if I could sing, I could do that as well. <laughs> So in terms of playability overall, I find it pretty comfortable to play. I am not that used to playing acoustic guitars in general since I pretty much just play electric guitar mostly. So the action was a bit high and I tuned it down a bit to counter that a little bit, but I think it's probably pretty normal or even low for acoustic guitar standards. And I find the neck really comfortable and the guitar is a little bit heavier than you might expect given its size and how there's nothing here. So it's a little bit on the heavy side but definitely nothing too crazy and I think most people would be really comfortable with it. It's just a little bit surprising when you see how small the guitar looks in person. If you let go of it, it also seems to have a bit of neck dive so the neck goes down a bit if you're not kind of supporting it yourself. I think just wearing a strap though would help with that. But overall I think it feels quite comfortable especially coming from an electric guitar background. It feels familiar and definitely doesn't feel out of the ordinary. I also think the guitar looks really cool. I know this will come down to personal opinion. I know some people don't like the futuristic looking guitars, but I think this looks really nice. It looks like a really premium product and it feels well designed overall. And yeah, I think it's a cool looking guitar. I really appreciate all the thought that probably went into designing this instrument, like having this detachable part so that you can fit it into a small case and just how the Bluetooth speaker works in general and the microphone connection and all the different ports. And there are just a lot of really cool things that are built into this guitar. Now, of course, I know that this guitar won't appeal to everyone. There are a lot of features built into the guitar that maybe not everyone would want. And it's also a pretty unique design. But I think that if it does appeal to you and you're the sort of person who likes experimenting with new tech products, then it could be worth looking into and it might be really fun to have around. The next piece sound doesn't entirely compare with the full sound of a traditional full-bodied acoustic guitar, so I don't think it will replace your wooden acoustic guitars, but I don't think it has to. I think it brings something fun and different to the acoustic guitar space, and I've enjoyed my time with it so far. I think that this guitar could make a great potential gift option for someone who is into acoustic guitar and also into tech products. I think they would have a lot of fun with it, and it might not be something that they would think of for themselves. The deluxe version they sent me with the upgraded case and including a microphone and headphones comes in at around $800, but you can also get a basic version without that deluxe case and those other accessories for around $600. So yeah, if you're looking for a really unique acoustic guitar for you or for someone else, I'll have links in the description where you can learn more. Thank you again to Enya Music for sending me out the next G to try and for sponsoring this video. I really appreciate it. And thank you all so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.